guys, it's your girl Nicole Young and I am back with another video. So if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you know that I am a huge advocate for learning to code for as free or affordably as possible. The more that I learn, the more that I realize most of what you need to know as a developer is available somewhere on the internet and usually for free. So in this video, I'm going to give you six of my favorite tips and tricks and general finessing that you can do to learn new skills for your development journey. Regardless of the learning path that you have decided to take or what stage you're on in your development journey, I know that these tips are going to be helpful for you in finding new ways to learn new skills and find new resources for where you are in your journey as a developer. So make sure you watch until the very end, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any more videos like this as well. All right, let's get into it. Number one is the most obvious one and that is taking advantage of the boundless resources that are available on the internet. So I've made tons of videos about this and I will link them above, but there is nothing that you can't Google. With just a little bit of extra time and commitment to focus, there is no problem or issue or new skill that you can't figure out using the free resources that are available on websites like Reddit, YouTube, and just a general Google search. There are so many articles and blogs out there that can really help you on your developer journey, so never count those out. Number two is keeping an eye out for different sales and special offers. So a lot of websites that are geared towards helping you learn new coding skills have different sales or special offers during holidays or periodically throughout the year. I have been able to finesse hundreds of dollars worth of free education from the sales and special offers. I've saved so much money being able to find courses that were offered for free or you know, free trials and, and even huge sales that different companies were having because of different holidays that happened throughout the year. Number three is probably the most slept on tip that I have ever shared on this channel and that is taking advantage of your public library, y'all you would not believe the amount of free resources available to you just by having a library card. Arthur knew what he was talking about when he put us on all those years ago. Leave a comment below if you're old enough to understand that reference. With a public library card, you can find access to different books and learning materials for free. You can gain access to different subscription websites or magazines for free. There are also sites like Udemy, depending on what state you're in, where you can get access to all of the courses on there or most of them for free. So. If you don't have a library card, make sure that you get up and go get you one today. Don't wait. Number four is to join a coding email list or following a coding or development related blog. Now hear me out. So I have found that following blogs and joining email lists and joining different small communities around what I am trying to learn has been extremely helpful in exposing me to what is available out there, what types of things I need to be paying attention to, and what I should be focused on learning. I have personally been able to be introduced to different frameworks and concepts that were out there that I didn't even know existed that have really helped me to advance in my developer journey. So I think that just keeping an eye out and staying aware and alert to what is going on in your industry is so important. Number five is finding ways to learn through imitation. Now I've made other videos, as I mentioned before, on ways that you can use things like GitHub or YouTube to find projects and tutorials to follow along with to actually get your hands going and start learning. I think that it can be so helpful to be able to watch someone else do something and imitate it yourself, to be able to learn things that you can do as a developer. For me, I've even used things like 
developer tools in Google Chrome to inspect websites that I love to figure out how developers are building such beautiful, amazing designed websites. And I've learned a ton about CSS styling and different JavaScript uses that I have been able to incorporate in my own journey. So definitely don't underestimate the power of imitation as a source of learning. Number six is not so much a tip as it is just a constant reminder and that is to just do it. Just get started. If there is one thing that I've learned in my developer journey is that there is nothing that you can learn by just sitting and observing. You have to actually get your hands to doing and building. And I suggest you do that immediately. Use whatever you have available to you right now to just get started. I have personally learned so much more and so much faster when I just started to pick up projects and struggle through them until I figured out the solutions to them. And there's nothing that you can watch or read or research that's going to replace actually getting that experience on your own. So as much as I love you all watching these videos, a YouTube video is not going to be a solid replacement for just sheer practice. All right. Those are all the tips that I have for you guys. Make sure you like this video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Just remember that I love you guys and I'm rooting for you and I can't wait to see you in the next video.